Welcome friends. Today we are introducing the subject fuzzy control. So as you may know fuzzy control is one of the latest control strategy and control techniques used all over the world and this subject is solely based on the advances in set theory and its applications. So let us introduce this subject today by knowing the background of fuzzy control. It has been inherited from the concepts of classical set theory and theory of probability. So we shall start with learning classical set theory or crisp set theory. Then we shall introduce the concept of fuzzy set theory and side by side we will compare the crisp set with the fuzzy set. So let me find the privilege to introduce you with the introducer of the fuzzy control, the professor of University of California, Berkeley. In 1965, he presented a paper on fuzzy logic. His name is Lofty Aliaskar Zade. So Zade has proposed the concept of fuzzy set theory, fuzzy logic and later he suggested certain mathematics based on the fuzzy set theory based on which the control strategy and control programs were developed by different simulators and implemented by many companies all over the world. So the first industrial application of fuzzy control was developed by a company in Denmark on cement kill. It was in 1975. Later, two engineers of Hitachi were motivated by the fuzzy control theory and they implemented it on a real-time project of Subway and those two engineers presented the simulation of field application of fuzzy control in 1985. Many firms including Boeing, General Motors, Allen Bradley and so on even the Whirlpool have worked on fuzzy logic for use in low power refrigerators, washing machines, improved automatic transmission and energy efficient electric motors. Today fuzzy logic is one of the most appreciated control technique implemented on white goods. So before we go into the applications of fuzzy logic as fuzzy control theory, let us first understand the mathematical basic and mathematical background of the fuzzy set theory and fuzzy control. So we shall start by mentioning the classical set theory as we all know that classical set theory is about the set theory we have studied since our school days. It speaks about a universal set of discourse defined as U. U is defined as the universal set of discourse. And any set, say crisp set, is crisp set C is a subset of U. Then, then an element, say U, can be an element of C or U may not be an element of C that means U is otherwise an element of C complement. So it means that U equals to C union C complement.
so i can take the example of you because whenever we are speaking about classical set theory we defined a classical set as a collection of of well defined objects objects so whatever be the objects in the set u that should be well defined that is u is a collection of objects like u1 u2 u3 up to un so when we are defining u as a classical set we know that every object of u is known to us very clearly now when we are trying to say that u is a is an element of small u is an element of c then we have certain things to say about it especially the function which is the characteristic characteristic function on c this characteristic function mu a or mu c as a function of u is equal to 1 when when u is an element of c and 0 when u is not an element of c it means i can say that an element of capital u is either an element of c or it is not an element of c so we can define a characteristic function mu c which is equal to 1 or 0 so mu c can be defined as so the characteristic function mu c the characteristic function mu c can be set to map from u to a set 0, 1 so the value of this set lies in two numbers that is 0 or 1 so this characteristic function informs whether c is an element of c cap whether u is an element of capital c or u is not an element of capital c in fuzzy set theory we understand that this concept of false or true can be modified as per our requirement i would like to take an example of throwing a dice example of throwing throwing a dice with large number large number so i am trying to define that if a dice is thrown then what is the chance that i will get a large number so i can state it here like it the possibility distribution is the 
possibility distribution on the universe of discourse is so what is our universe of discourse here here u equals to it is a set 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 so it is impossible it is impossible that one or two are large numbers when i am increasing the number let let us say i am speaking about 3 so it is 0.2 possible possible that 3 is a large number 3 is a large number i am gradually increasing the number to categorize it that when i am throwing a dice then what should be the membership or association of a large number in our case so it is 0.5 possible that 4 is a large number 4 is a large number it is 0.7 possible that 5 is a large number it is it is possible that 6 is a large number so if i can visualize this concept from a crisp set theory or classical set theory i will divide maybe i will divide the set into two parts i will say that one is a large number so that's possibility 0 2 is a large number possibility 0 3 is a large number possibility 0 then 4 is a large number possibility is 1 5 is a large number possibility 1 6 is a large number possibility is 1 otherwise i can say that only 5 and 6 are large numbers and 1 2 3 4 are not large numbers but in case of fuzzy set theory we speak about the weightage of certain functions or values within a given universe of discourse by a fraction of 1 so in fuzzy set theory how do you say that the characteristic function is generalized to a membership function that assigns to every element small u of capital u let me write it in language in fuzzy set theory in fuzzy set theory the characteristic function the characteristic function that assigns that assigns to every small u as a function as an element of capital u a value a value from from the unit interval unit interval 
closed interval 0 to 1. It means instead of two elements in the set 0 and 1, I am trying to associate the values in the range from 0 and 1. Then, then the set is defined as the set is defined defined on the basis of on the basis of such an such an extended membership extended membership function function is called called fuzzy set so the set that is the set that is defined on the basis of such an extended membership function in called is called fuzzy set so let us see how we can define fuzzy set as an extension of the crisp set so here in fuzzy set we are defining the characteristic function as the membership function so we can say that the membership function is mu f so we can write in this way the membership function the membership function mu f mu f of a fuzzy set is a function is a function mu f that maps from the domain u to the range of closed interval 0 1 so here we can clearly speak about the membership degree that every element every every element u from the inverse of discourse capital u has a membership degree membership degree mu f of u which is an element of the closed interval 0 and 1 now we can define the fuzzy set f as a tuple here we see carefully that you have the element then the membership function which is a function of the element such that small u is an element of capital U. So capital U is the universe of discourse. From here I am taking an element U and fuzzy set is defining the tuple U, the member and its membership value or membership degree. So let us take an example of fuzzy set. example example suppose i want to classify the, from the set of expensive cars worldwide using the fuzzy set definition so let me say that the fuzzy set of the fuzzy set of 
expensive expensive cars defined on the universe of discourse u equals to i am taking bmw then buick then ferrari ferrari then fiat fiat then mercedes and rolls roy and rolls roy rolls roy so this is definitely a crisp set that is the universe of discourse from this i am trying to define a fuzzy set of expensive cars so a fuzzy set of expensive cars f capital f is given by the tuplets number 1 ferrari this has a membership function 1 then rolls roy this has a membership function 1 then mercedes this has a membership function 0.8 then bmw this has a membership function 0.7 and buick this has a membership function 0.4 and other cars other cars cannot come in consideration so from this we understand how we can define a fuzzy set if we have the crisp set and we have the interest or clause of our choice so i take another example i take another example another example so suppose we want to define a set of natural numbers close to c define a set of natural numbers numbers close to 6 so how we can do it we can define the fuzzy set f equal to 3 comma membership function is 0.1 comma 4 membership function is 0.3 comma 5 membership function is 0.6 comma 6 membership function is 1 comma 7 membership function is 0.6 comma 8 membership function is 0.3 like that so 9 membership function is 0.1 the same set can be defined as in different form we can write it we can write 3 comma 0.1 plus 4 comma 0.3 plus 5 comma 0.6 plus 6 comma 1 plus 7 comma 0.6 Plus eight comma zero point three plus nine comma zero point one. So this is another way of representing the fuzzy set. So here I have used a membership function mu f of this element u equal to One divided by one plus 
u minus 6 whole square. So this is how we can define a fuzzy set. Another way of representing the fuzzy set is membership function mu f of u divided by u. So in the previous example of Ferrari, I can write 1 divided by Ferrari plus 1 divided by Rolls Roy plus 0 0.8 divided by Mercedes plus 0 0.7 divided by BMW plus 0 0.4 divided by Big. So I can define the set fuzzy set f equal to the summation also summations like mu f of u1 divided by u1 plus up to mu f un divided by u1 so this can be represented as summation of i equals to 1 to n mu f of ui divided by ui ui so this is another representation of fuzzy set so in this way we can define the fuzzy set and there are different operations on classical set which can be brought to fuzzy set with certain modifications let me let me just pronounce three operations that is the complement intersection and union as we can inherit to fuzzy set with certain modifications in definitions how we can do it so first these are the operations operations so complement complement of the fuzzy set f is defined as mu f of element u equals to 1 minus so this is mu f complement is 1 minus mu f u so second the intersection inter section of two fuzzy sets of two fuzzy sets fuzzy sets f1 and f2 are given as f1 intersection f2 for which membership function mu of f1 intersection f2 of u is given as minimum of the membership va values of these functions mu f1 of u and mu f2 of u similarly the third one the union of union of two fuzzy sets f1 and f2 are given as f1 union f2 for which the membership function f1 union f2 of u is given as maximum of max of mu f1 as a function of u comma mu f2 as a function of u so 
this is the basic definition of this set and fuzzy set and let us see some salient differences between the two sets so we can define like this crisp set fuzzy set over here so point number one in crisp set we have either true either true or false or either true or false false if association association or membership membership with the universe of discourse is considered is is considered whether here it can have can have partially true or false membership member ship upon you second point second point so in case of membership we can define it as the membership function you see mapping from u to the well defined set containing two elements 0 and 1 while in case of fuzzy set the membership function will map u to a closed interval of 0 and 1 third one when it comes to defining the set then c equals to a set of u such that u is an element of capital u while here is a tuplet it is not a single element but a u with the membership function we have to define it 0 1 u u comma membership function as a function of u such that u is an element of u so you can define uh, a fuzzy set precisely using this definition and there are some other representations of fuzzy set as we have seen this can be also equal to f equal to sigma of i equals to 1 to n mu f as a function of ui divided by ui so this set can be represented as u1 u2 like that up to u1 such that u is an element of capital U. So this is our discussion on crisp set and fuzzy set and their comparisons. So in the next lecture we, sh we shall see some more examples of crisp set and fuzzy set and how they can be used for finding the membership in certain applications will be discussed. So these are the two textbooks which can be used. First one is the reference book by S. Raja Sekharan and Vijay Lakshmi Pai which can be used as a textbook. And the second one is especially 
book meant for understanding the basics of fuzzy control so you can make use of these books their online versions are available on net so friends if you find this lecture useful you can like it and subscribe the channel and set the bell icon for further notifications on the channel update you can send me your queries to my email id neurofuzzysystems faq at the red gmail.com so this much is for today's discussion thank you for your patient listening